Hey guys, I want to take this uh, brief moment here to clarify a little bit about the three-quarter swing versus the three-quarter width. Let's first discuss what the three-quarter swing in golf terms typically means. So I see a lot of uh, teaching out there, if you will, that says, hey, the club should be three-quarter swing. Again, let's talk about golf terms. What does three-quarter mean? Does that mean in shoulder turn? Does that mean you know turning your shoulders less? Does that mean the club is short or parallel? It really depends on how you want to describe that. And really to say three-quarter swing can mean a lot of things. So what I want to discuss to you guys right now, three-quarter swing, if I just take it up here, let's talk about length. You can see I have no wrist hinge here. The club is not parallel at this point, but it's, if you will, three-quarter length. The problem with just saying this is I can take this length here, now move my hands behind my head, and it is still three-quarter length. All right, when I do that from this view, three-quarter length with my arms behind my head, you can see now how my arms have become unconnected. You can see my right bicep a lot here. When I refer to three-quarter width, again, it's to get your body to work properly, to get the angles in the body. We want the wrist hinge. We want this 90-degree angle. We also want a 90-degree angle here with your right arm. So as you swing the club up, this right here is three-quarter width, and what I mean by that is keeping your arms out to the side here. I will do a lot more explanations here with a lot of tour players and showing you that position that we're after. Now, there are certain guys that get the club up um, this way, but what, you, what I commonly see with amateurs, and one reason why they have a tendency to hurt themselves more, why they don't get power, is their arms get deep. Whether that length is three-quarter or the length is here, what happens is your hands go behind your head. So really briefly understanding, let's forget about golf terms here, about three quarter length, if you will, because it can mean shoulder turn, it can just mean length in this case. What the three quarter width swing is, is hands are off to the right side of the head here. So when you get it here, you've got a position of strength, you've got a position of strength, your arms are in front of you, they get back down in front of you so that you can create that lag and create that, trap, that triple stack position that we talk about with the perfect connection swing. I hope that's a little clarification for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and head to the blog and I'll answer them there.